guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, I am sharing the three cocktails that I will be serving for Christmas dinner. So these will be the last three cocktails of the Christmas holiday. However, don't worry, New Year's Eve is coming up and I have you covered. But these three are the ones that I am going to serve. Let me share them with you. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, first and foremost, if you are not yet subscribed, it's the end of the year. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any videos. All right, we are doing three today. Three keto cocktails. You guys, let's start with cocktail number one. This is the first cocktail that I'm gonna be serving. So it is a pomegranate coconut margarita. Why not, right? It's the end of the year. Let's be indulgent. However, it is still keto. So let's talk about the ingredients. All right, so Ciroc is one of my favorite uh, vodkas. This one is pomegranate. Brand spanking new, y'all. Pomegranate. Uh, Come on, 1800, we're gonna do the coconut, uh, pomegranate seeds. Take a fresh pomegranate if you can't find the little pom-poms, you know? We need an orange, we need the orange zest because what we're doing is a simple syrup made with orange. So it's sort of like a Cointreau, but we're doing keto. So we're gonna use the monk fruit sugar. We need limes, of course, coconut, this is one carb. Just make sure that it's coconut milk, not cream. Otherwise, you're gonna have too much carbs. Uh, fresh coconut, we're gonna toast it. Do not use raw coconut, you guys, toast it. All you do is skillet, no oil, no butter, nothing. And it will smell delicious. Uh, so let's get this cocktail going. And then we need a white chocolate. You don't absolutely need it, but here's the thing. We really want that uh, coconut to adhere to the glass. All right, so rocks glass. Look how pretty these ones are, y'all. Christmassy, right? I know. It's the last Christmas, you and I. Coquito cocktail. So what I did was, over a double boiler, white chocolate. We are gonna rim our glass, let it sit, and then go right into that toasted coconut and look how it adheres, you guys. Ah, beautiful, right? I'm gonna sit it in the freezer. All right, you guys, let's get this cocktail made. So one ounce of Ciroc, pomegranate, one ounce of the 1800 coconut tequila, one ounce of the orange simple syrup, One ounce of coconut milk. One lime. And then the last ingredient is a tablespoon of fresh pomegranate seeds. and we shake. Add some pretty ice, of course, because look how gorgeous this is. It's the holidays, you guys. It's the last couple days. We shake. We pour. few more of the little pomegranate seeds and there you have it let's give a taste test all right so this would be the first cocktail that we will be serving um, for our Christmas dinner it's absolutely delicious super refreshing super light talk about the second cocktail the second cocktail is the cocktail that I am going to serve with our meal uh, the reason that I'm doing this is it's so light and so refreshing and beautiful 
and simplistic and it just keeps your palate clean. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm serving in this video. However, I am filming everything so that you can make it for New Year's Eve. Put it up uh, several days before New Year's Eve, so if it's something that you wanna do, um, it'll be there waiting for you. So uh, this cocktail um, I have made uh, before. Uh, but I've uh, done it in a different way. This is a truly traditional bee's knees. Now I have made, sorry my dishwasher is going off for like the third time today. I've been cooking a lot y'all, I've been cooking a lot and filming. So a bee's knees is back in the prohibition. They came up with this um, because they named it bee's knees because when something was really cool and hip, they said it's the bee's knees. This is so beautiful and I'm going to tell you this again. If you think you're not a gin drinker, it's Empress 1908 Indigo. Now, last time I used the uh, elderflower, which was beautiful, we did a kind of a holiday version. This is a traditional bee's knees tiny twist just because that's me uh, so we're going to use the indigo we are going to use a honey syrup equal parts honey to water that's all it is and then fresh squeezed lemon juice we are going um, then I am going to garnish with some beautiful uh, lemon twirls that I've done in a monk fruit sugar um, and uh, a little bit of edible glitter because you know it is Christmas. Glass that I'm using, this beautiful glass right here, this was sent to me, a set, by a dear breast cancer survivor warrior, subscriber, friend, uh, she's amazing, Anna. Um, I love these, and it's the perfect glass for the bee's knees for dinner. So, without further ado, let's jump in. We talked about the ingredients. This one can't be any more simpler if we try it. Let's go. All right, you guys, let's go. We need uh, one and a half ounces of Empress 1908 Gin Indigo. Such a beautiful gin. All right, three quarter ounce of lemon juice. And half an ounce of the honey syrup. One round ice cube. and pour. Sugared lemon twirl. Chanel bees and ease. Darlene's little twist, of course. Last little thing, tiny itty bitty bit of our pearlescent edible glitter because come on, it makes everything As more beautiful. always, it's the taste. Let's try her. <laughs> it's perfection. It is so light and so perfect. Uh, this is, I mean, I, <laughs> I'm gonna say it for about the millionth time. If you do not think you are a gin drinker, Start right here. Start right here. Start with this gin. Buy it in a small bottle. Here. Look, I got this as a gift. Start it with a small bottle. I'm telling you. Look, it matches. <laughs> um, and I will convert you. I was converted. Mm. It is wonderful. It is absolute perfection. All right, you guys, cocktail number three is uh, the after dinner cocktail. Um, this one is gorgeous. This cocktail is the last 
cocktail for the holidays. I know for Christmas holidays. We still have New Year's and I've got about two or three that I'm just gonna load up for you for this week. But this one is the last one for Christmas. An English toffee chocolate martini. And it would make a gorgeous after dinner drink. Stunning. All right, and it's not too heavy. Let's talk about the ingredients. We have the double espresso vodka. This is amazing, you guys. Vail makes a lot of wonderful flavored vodkas. Bailey's, and you're gonna go, Darlene, that is not low carb. You are absolutely correct. But Bailey's Light is much better uh, in carbs, and we're not going to use that much. We have Tarani's sugar-free English toffee. This is zero carbs. We have heavy whipping cream. Uh, we need a little bit of also Tarani's vanilla syrup. Uh, this is sugar-free as well. Uh, Lily's chocolate, again, lower in carbs. With that chocolate, we're gonna do two things. One, we are going to rim a coupe glass. You know your girl loves a coupe glass. I rimmed it and I also drizzled it because if we're gonna go out, we're going out in style. The second thing I did was make little Christmas tree chocolate uh, de decoration to go on top. All right, you guys, so I have got some Lily's dark chocolate melted over a double boiler. What I'm gonna take is a coupe glass. You can use a martini glass, of course. How many times am I gonna say everybody should have a coupe glass? Uh, these have been chilling, and what it's going to do is help set that chocolate. And then what I wanna do, so we have a nice rim, and then I'm gonna take and drizzle on the inside and it's automatically going to freeze because we have a nice chilled glass. So I'm just making some little swirls. There we go. And that's it, back in the freezer. All right, let's get this cocktail going. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to try and open the cream. <laughs> I'm going to Put some heavy cream in a bowl and not very much maybe an ounce and then a little bit of the vanilla syrup let me bring you down guys a couple squirts of the vanilla syrup and then we are going to give a nice little froth um, we want this to be we don't want it to be whipped cream we just want it to be thicker than it is and so we're just going to do that until it's the consistency that i like Okay, let's go with our espresso vodka. Let's. Okay, we're gonna do an ounce and a half of espresso vodka. An ounce of Bailey. See what I'm saying? We're not using very much at all. Mm, it smells just like English toffee, you guys. We're gonna use an ounce of the English toffee. And we are giving her a shake. And we pour. And, we, and then we take a gorgeous Christmas tree and we put it right on top. 
All right, the last thing I'm gonna do, just because we're gonna make this extra special, it's the last cocktail of Christmas season. I'm gonna take these little edible stars and I am just going to lay them across. Come on, you guys, it's just so beautiful. Look at that, you guys. So gorgeous! Let's take a sip. Here's what I love about this one. Okay, do I have chocolate? <laughs> Here's what I love about this one. It's not heavy. It's not heavy. It's very light, so you could have it prior to dinner, but this is going to be my Christmas dinner after dinner drink. All right, you guys, that is it. Those are the three holiday cocktails that I will be serving for Christmas dinner. That's it. I hope you enjoyed all three cocktails. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Happy holidays to you and your family. Thank you so much for supporting me. And I will see you in the new year. Actually, I will see you before the new year because we've got some New Year's Eve cocktails and goodies coming up. A full New Year's Eve dinner. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. That way you guys won't miss out on any videos. I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.